So we're back at it again, but today we're at Snetterton on a 300 circuit. We're on the Aprilia RSV4 again, but this time we've got it fitted with Dunlop KR Series slicks. We're going to spin some laps, show you some lines and try and give you some tips for the next time you come here. Straightaways don't come much longer than this in the UK. It's flat out in sixth gear on the Aprilia and I'm looking for the 300 meter board as my braking marker. It's back to fourth gear and aim to catch the first part of the kerbs. You drift out a little before cutting back and catching the second part of the kerbs for a late apex. You can build a throttle in really hard here as you start to pick the bike up and hold the same gear on your run into turn two. I'm braking just after the 300 meter board and I'm holding first gear with this bike for the tight hairpin. Get the bike stood up as early as possible on the exit and move over to the right hand side of the track for the best run into turn three. It's a tricky corner with not many references but don't be drawn in too early and wait for a later apex as it means you can get the bike stood up earlier and open the gas so much harder. Once again I'm looking for the 300 meter board as my braking marker and I'm back to second gear. Don't dive to the kerbs too early and just roll around to find a nice late apex. Shift up a gear and then look for the orange square in the armco on your right hand side for your braking point and peel into Hamilton just before you get to the Marshall's hut. Catch the kerbs on the inside and run into the kerbs on the exit before making an effort to get back over to the left side of the track for your run into Oggies. This next section is quite tricky and it's all about being precise and building momentum for the back straight. It's back to first gear and let the bike run past the kerbs while keeping the bike lent over and turning. You don't need to get right back to the white line on the inside, so start to pick the bike up and drive hard while short shifting to the edge of the track. Whilst carrying a small amount of throttle, you can peel in for a late apex and aim for the end of the rumble strip on your exit. Nailing this corner is crucial for a fast lap time around this track, and then it's head down and time to breathe along the Bentley straight. It's a fast ballsy entry here, and I'm braking just before the 300 metre board. Be smooth with your downshifts, arm back three gears before a late apex at the kerbs and then shift down another gear in a change of direction. Short shift to third for the run to the bomb hole and brake a little to help you turn in. There isn't really a turning in point here so just feel your way into it. Build in the throttle at the kerbs and you can really attack the entry to Corum, but be smooth as you brake as you're carrying lean angle. Aim for a metre or so off the inside white line and carry smooth throttle around the corner closing the gap to the white line as you go. I'm back to first here, and as soon as I'm upright, I break as late as a dare. Now it's head down, arse up, and that's a lap of the Snetterton 300 circuit. I've had a wicked day here at Snetterton. We've spun a load of laps, and we've really put the KR series slick for its paces. It's got so much grip, and it gave me a load of confidence. I really hope you can learn something from this video, and we'll see you next time.